David Meyer lives with his family in Los Angeles, California, where he was an executive in the toy industry. He was married in 1980. In 1984, Love Kiss Live, I have my first child, uh, my wife and I, and uh, he's premature. And uh, we find out a few days later that uh, he has Down syndrome. And he had complications at birth. He had some health issues. They wanted to do a transfusion. Our pediatrician didn't want to do the transfusion. We had a lot of issues. And then as he started to get healthier, 10 days later, my father-in-law dies unexpectedly. So we're going through all this, and we really... I mean, it's, it's a devastating time, you know, m losing my father-in-law. And then, you know, it was, it was almost like, what else can you do, God? So uh, my, my in-laws were from Montreal, and they used to uh, winter in Florida. And I said, you know what? With the baby's healthy enough to travel, I said, why don't you come to New York with me? We'll spend, Sh you'll come in for Shabbos, we'll spend Shabbos, and Sunday I'll try to get Yechidus with the Rebbe and get a blessing, get a bracha from the Rebbe for the baby. Now it's 19, you know, it's 1985, and you just don't get Yechidus with the Rebbe. But our good friend, a Friedman, of Remel Friedman, he says to me, he says, I have an idea. And he takes us into the uh, lobby in 770 and says, when the Rebbe goes from the shul, after Mincha, back to his office, that's when you'll approach the Rebbe. So it's quite a crowd of people thinking the same thing. And Rebbe says, keeps pushing, says, don't let anybody get out in your way, just stand there. And of course, when the Rebbe comes out, you're speechless. Well, you're not going to say anything, you know. You're... But the Rebbe walked out and stopped and looked at my Vremel, and he took a coin out of his pocket, and he put it in Avramel's hand. And because he, had, he was with Down syndrome, they don't have muscle tone until much later, he couldn't grab it, and the coin dropped. And before anyone realized that the coin had fallen on the floor, you know, everyone's very excited. The Reb is here, and I'm pushing my wife forward, and my wife's got the baby in her arms. The Reb stoops down, picks the coin up off the ground, puts it back in my Avramel's hand, and he folds the hand over his, with his hand, and he leans over to my wife and says, these are my generals. You shouldn't worry. And then he said something in either Hebrew or Yiddish, which my wife didn't speak either of. It was really, I think for her, he said he'll be a blessing. He knew my wife needed reassuring words. And it certainly is a blessing. Our, run, our son's now 31 years old. He's independent. He, drive, he takes the train and the bus all over the city. He has a job. And he, I have to tell you, he is the light of our lives. He is our blessing.